Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Jeremy and thank you very much for checking out this On The Disc video. A video series on my channel where I show you what is on the disc of a Blu-ray release that more often than not I have already done an unboxing separately of on my channel. Today, following on my recent Honest Unboxing video, I focus on Lupin Zero, the complete collection available now from Sentai Filmworks in America. As mentioned, if you want to see an unboxing of this Blu-ray, you can find that separately right now here on my channel. But today, we're focusing what is on the disc. So without further ado, let's get to the main menu. And I will note before going any further that this disc is coded for Region A in North America, so do make sure if you're planning to get this that you've got hardware that can play this disc back accordingly. I will also note for the purposes of this video I have muted all audio on the disc, but in the background of this menu you can see here it is playing the opening theme to the show. As you can see, we are here on the main menu of this release, and we've got a variety of options here, simply to choose the six episodes of the series individually, and then there is a special features menu. You will notice there is not a setup menu of any kind. Simply put, this is because the series is only in Japanese audio with English subtitles. There is no English dub on this Blu-ray release whatsoever, so if that is something that is a deal breaker for you, do bear that in mind before you get your copy. Let's dive straight into the first episode so I can show you a bit more of what to expect. So we're at the very start of the first episode. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward just a little bit to where we get some dialogue so I can show you how some of the subtitles look. But so far from a visual point of view, looking good to me. I'm liking how this is looking. As you can see here, we got our first glimpse of how some subtitles are looking. Also an instance there of how some sign on screen text subtitles will appear as well. Very clear and easy to distinguish the two. Yellow subtitles means it dialogue. White subtitles usually will mean it is on screen text. So what I'm going to do now is jump forward again a little bit further, this time to the opening title sequence. So we get this eye catch to start the opening theme and then the opening sequence will begin proper in just a few moments time. What I will note is you will not notice any subtitles in this opening sequence, partly because there's no song lyrics to actually translate, but also the on-screen text you see that is translated at the end of each episode when it comes to the credits and such. I will show you what I mean by that as we get through this episode, but have no fear, you are not missing out. It's just simply the way Sentai has formatted the disc in this instance, and it's actually something that they do on various releases of theirs as well, it must be said. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump a bit further forward so I can show you how one of the title cards looks for the episode. So this is how the title card will display for each episode. You can see very, very clear and easy to read font there once the translation appears. Also going to show you a little bit more of this scene here now, because I think it's a good indicator as to how the subtitle colouring and font choice of Sentai Filmworks actually works very well in the context here. You get to see a bunch of different lighting options, as it were, for how it is going to appear. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump forward because the way this is formatted, it's not exactly sort of your traditional series, as it were, when it comes to how things appear. Because what I would normally do now is show you the closing title sequence, but what I'm actually going to do is show you the, the next episode preview because that appears before the title sequence. So let's jump forward to that. So this is now the next episode preview, and then immediately after this will be the closing title sequence, which I'm going to jump forward to now. Now in this instance, there are song lyrics, so you will see subtitles appearing over the top of some on-screen text, which are song lyrics themselves as well. There you go, there they have appeared, right there. And now the final bit of the puzzle, as it were, when it comes to each individual episode on this disc. Jumping forward. You will see here now that we get a credit roll, and this is what I was mentioning when it comes to the opening title sequence, in that this is how Sentai will show off all of the credits for the episode in question you are watching. Very, very simple and easy to read and whatnot. Also very, very good to be able to see that as well. What I'm going to do now is jump forward to episode two. I've skipped past the opening sequence on this occasion. That is because what I actually want to do is show you the pop-up menu functionality because there is a pop-up menu on this disc. As you can see, we are currently in episode two. You can select the episodes in question. You've got the cross symbol there, which will, as you saw, just then immediately get rid of the pop-up menu and of course you can access the special features as well. So we are back on the main menu now. As you can see I was just on episode 2 and it has remained highlighted on that as well. And I mentioned about the special features. Let's delve into these very quickly here. We've got clean opening animation, clean closing animation, Japanese promos and disc credits. So a quick glance at the opening credits to see how that differs. 
I've jumped forward a little bit here just to emphasize some areas where we saw that there was on-screen text last time with the colored backdrops and whatnot. So as you can see, very, very much a clean opening sequence here. Next up, clean closing. And you can already see here that there is no on-screen text as we saw a few moments ago. So definitely the clean version of this ending title sequence. And it would be roughly here where the, the song lyrics would appear as well over the top of that on-screen text. As you can see, not needed now. Then we have got Japanese promos. So we've got a good five and a half minutes or so of promos for the series included on this. I think that's roughly eight trailers total, as it were, sort of of differing varieties and such. So not going to show you too much more and whatnot, because again, they're sort of all contained on the disc and such, but it gives you an idea as to what to expect. And finally, we have disc credits, which loads up this additional screen showing you who was involved in the production of this disc specifically. So with that being said, folks, I think that just about wraps this up. So I will say... Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it has been useful for you if you are thinking of purchasing this Blu-ray yourself. I will add, though, if you've got any questions, perhaps pertaining to things I did or didn't show in this video, please let me know in the comments. I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take care, thank you very much, and have a nice day.